Hey guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to part two of the land grabs. We are back here in the land grab house and here is little Faith. And look at that little face. Look at that. Oh, there's little Malcolm the fifth. Let's just zoom in on him and give ourselves a reminder of that face, okay? He actually looks kind of cute when he's cheesing right there. <laughs> It's 9.15 p.m. at night, and I don't know why these children are not in bed. So, Faith is going to eat some chips, walk into her parents' room as they sleep. That's kind of creepy. Anyway, oh look, little Malcolm's going to use the potty. How oh, cute. So, everybody's going to go to bed tonight. We're going to wake up Thursday morning. We're going to get this show on the road. We have a lot of exciting stuff happening in this episode. So, little Faith is going to turn into a punk rock teenager. Malcolm is going to age up to a child, and we're going to see if that chin gets any better looking. <laughs> and Dina is going to bring the third land grab baby into the world. So buckle your seatbelts, okay? And Dina also wants to have an affair with Dawn again, so we're going to see if we can make that happen for her. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's 10.50 on Thursday morning, and Dina is about to give birth to the third land grab child any moment now. Uh, Malcolm has been helping take care of little Malcolm today so Dina could rest. She's been upstairs watching movies, just preparing for the birth, and it is going to be going down any second now. She's due at 11 a.m. Looks like here she goes. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this new baby. Now, I did remember to roll the pacifier, so we are not going to have a clone of little Malcolm V, but who knows what this kid's going to look like, right? <laughs> and so, you, I let you guys vote on the name for this baby, and the name Riley won with 33% of the vote. So, thanks to everybody who voted. The new baby's name is going to be Riley, whether it's a boy or a girl. And, of course, the bed blocks our view again. I swear, every Every time. <laughs> but here comes our new land grab baby. Oh, it's another little boy. It is another little boy. Okay, guys, welcome Riley Landgrab. Malcolm's second son and Dina's uh, third son. So this is Riley. Here he is. Let's hope that he's cuter than his older brother. <laughs> Look at, look at little Malcolm. He's like, oh my gosh, I've got a brother. Look at the little look on his face. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my God, the maid was here. The maid was in here the whole time. He, he just watched his boss give birth. Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> that's an awkward situation. <laughs> Get out of here, Remington. Oh, look, everybody's so happy for the new little baby. I'm so excited. Let's take a picture. Look at that. Malcolm is so happy. He, Malcolm looks evil to me. Like, even when he's happy, he looks evil. But that's a nice little family picture there. Aww. The family's going to spend the day bonding with little Riley and preparing for Malcolm V's birthday party. We are going to be throwing him a birthday party this evening. Uh, he's going to turn into a toddler at 6 p.m. So the next item on the agenda, Dina just gave birth and now she's got to deal with a bunch of people in her house for a birthday party. But that's what happens when you have a whole bunch of kids, Dina. <laughs> so they're going to take care of little Riley. Even the gardener came in. The gardener's like, oh yeah, good job. Good job popping that baby out. <laughs> and we're going to start getting ready for the birthday party. First of all, I just noticed that both... Dina and Malcolm have the want for Cookie to get a job in security. So we're going to go see if we can find Cookie a job in security. Let's see. Let's go over to the computer and do find a pet job for Cookie. I don't know what good Cookie is going to do in the security field, but hey, that's what they want for her. They're rich and they can get their dog a job in the security field if they want to. <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> Okay, so showbiz, no. Security, okay. So Cookie is now going to work from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. And she's going to bring in an extra 113 a day for the household. Good job pulling your weight around here, Cookie. Okay, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon now. Little Faith just got home from school. <laughs> 
wow, I caught her mid uh, change into her regular clothes. And Dina is downstairs throwing the party for little Malcolm. Now, unfortunately, all of the children in Malcolm's uh, generation are still toddlers, so we're not going to be inviting them. We're just going to invite a couple of family members over. We're going to invite Nina and Gia and some of Brandy's friends. Brand uh, some of Brandy's friends. Some of Dina's friends, including Brandy Dreamer. And we're just going to make this a small little affair. Oh, we'll invite Fabian, of course. Fabian and... Fabian's partner, Kevin, which I don't know if Kevin will come or not, but we're going to invite him. Uh, Dustin Broke is also a family friend, so we'll invite him. <laughs> She's enemies with Sandy Broody. No, we will not invite Sandy Broody. And we will not invite Dawn because that would be inappropriate, even though she does want to invite him over. And her friend, C Christy. I guess it was gonna, it's going to be a bigger party than I thought. <laughs> but maybe everybody won't show. And there is some garbage out on the front porch. I hope Remington cleans that up before the guests get here. So everybody did not show up. Let's see who didn't show up. Also, Faith brought some little girl named Sherry Holloway home from school, and I just let her stay. <laughs> like, whatever, Sherry. You can crash this party. Okay, so I'm just keeping an eye out on the lot to see when our party guests arrive. And then we don't have much time to spare. We've got to get little Malcolm down to the birthday cake right away. Okay, here they come. So we've got Christy, we've got Fabian, and we've got Gia. Hey! We've got some family members. So Gia and Dina are actually have actually become pretty close. Dina used to call Gia and talk to her when she was in college. Even though Dina and Nina haven't remained close, uh, Dina still uh, really loves her niece. Oops, I was trying to look at her relationships. Yeah, they're friends and they have a relationship of 70 over 70. So, I like that. <laughs> and Dean is also friends with Dustin Broke and has three bolts with him. <sighs> I hope nothing happens there. Be like a Mrs. Robinson situation. <laughs> okay, wait. Dustin is here because Dina is going to congratulate him. Where is he? Did he come in the other way? Oh, he came in the other way. <laughs> Oh, God, Dina, stop that. Stop that. She likes blonde guys, I think. All right, we're just gonna... She can congratulate him all she wants. We're gonna ignore that because we have to get the cake out here and get little Malcolm down to the cake immediately. Get up. Get up, little one. Time for you to age up. Uh-oh, the baby's crying. Oh, no. Somebody needs to take care of the baby. Dina... Get up here and change Riley's diaper. <laughs> you're gonna miss you're gonna miss little Malcolm aging up. Alright, let's take him down to the cake right away. Oh, there's look, Brandy's here too. There's Brandy. Some people are just showing up late. Alright, we've got drinks here too for the adults. This is more like an adult party where a toddler just happens to age up. <laughs> so let's bring Malcolm down to the cake. Here we go. Oh, and I want to get a nice shot of Malcolm before he ages up. We got to get another shot of that face. <laughs> With his little birthday cake in the shot, too. So we can commemorate his birthday. And remember the day that the ugliest child who ever lived in Pleasant View ages from toddler to child. Oh, here comes Fabian. Here comes Dustin. The party's a snoozer. <laughs> Maybe everybody will perk up after they get some birthday cake. I mean, it's a toddler birthday party. What do you guys expect? There's Brandy. Remington's gonna clear off the table for us. Aww. Make a wish, little Malcolm. I bet he's gonna wish for a better chin. <laughs> and there's Gia in her swimsuit. Okay, Gia. It's a little cold for swimming, but... They have an indoor pool, so I guess it's okay. All right, Dina made it down, too. All right, here we are. Get ready. The transition is happening. <laughs> the transition from ugly toddler to ugly child. <laughs> oh, oh no, get out of the way. Crap, this stupid chair's in the way. I can kind of see his face. I'm, like, trying to look around the chair. Oh, well, you know what? I think he got a little bit cuter, you guys. I do. I think he got a little bit cuter. Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> 
he got a little bit cuter. Come on now. A little bit. But, oh, he's still not a handsome child. <laughs> but he got a little bit better. <laughs> Let me get a screenshot of that. And his sister didn't even come in here. She's like, whatever, I, I'm going to jump rope. I don't care about you, Malcolm. <laughs> so he's grown into a child. Oh my God, is he wearing a suit? He's wearing a little sweater and suit. How cute is that? <laughs> and he wants to make a friend. Aw. So let's have him have his birthday cake. And we'll just kind of observe the party and see if anything fun happens. It's a snoozer right now. Get some cake, guys. Cheer up. It's cake time. Dina hasn't even talked to Fabian. Um, how is their relationship, I wonder? I think they, they used to be really close. Oh, they still are. Okay, so it's now 6 o'clock, and what I'm gonna do is because Malcolm just aged up again, is I'm gonna reset his age to the beginning of his age... To the beginning of childhood, that's what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna go to aging, reset to max days... Malcolm Landgrab the fifth. Okay. And so now the ages are... Malcolm is 41. Dina is 48. Faith is 10 years old. Malcolm the fifth is 5. And little Riley is 1. And let's check on the party. Let's see what everybody's doing here. I hear the TV on and I don't see anybody downstairs. I know Gia was swimming. Uh, oh, Christy. That's flattering. So Christy is the matron of the Pleasant View Orphanage. And she and Dina are friends for some reason that I don't understand. Sometimes your sims surprise you. And of course Gia is... Here. Gia is so pretty, and Gia had a terrible nose as a child, too. A really bad one, but she grew into it. So that's why I kind of have hope for Malcolm, although he didn't change that much. He still has that flat nose. Where'd you go, Malcolm? Is he going outside to play with Gia? Yeah, he's gonna go play catch with Gia. I love it. So Fabian and Brandy are upstairs having an awkward conversation about children. Brandy's like, so... When are you going to have kids? And Fabian's like, uh, I, I don't know. Because <laughs> Fabian and Kevin haven't really talked about having children yet. They just graduated from college and went out on their own. And if they, if either of them want to adopt, they totally can. I would actually love for them to adopt uh, from the orphanage. Because we haven't had anybody adopt any of the children from the orphanage yet. So that would be really cool. Oh boy, we got something going on down here. <laughs> So Dina and Malcolm are both um, thinking about how hot the other one is. Guys, you have got to back off. You might be attracted to each other, but you are both married. And Dina has at least one other lover. So let's not, let's not do this. This is weird. She just keeps congratulating him over and over again. All right, so everybody's having a good time at little Malcolm's birthday party. Um, but Dina, really, we got to take care of her needs. She's got to say goodbye early. She's got to go upstairs and take a shower before she grosses everybody out. <laughs> and now I just want to focus a bit on little Malcolm since this is his birthday party. Everybody else is just doing their own thing in there. And Malcolm is out here building a snowman all by himself. <laughs> his party's almost over. But I think he had a pretty good time. And you know what? As soon as the birthday party's over, I'm going to have to buy, build Malcolm a room or give him a bed or something. Because Riley is going to be moved into the nursery. And little Malcolm has nowhere to go. So we're going to have to at least give him a bed in the hallway or something until I can get him a room uh, made. Okay, the birthday party rocked. Great job. Final party score. Good time. Okay, so now it's time for our family to go to bed. I think everybody is exhausted after this day. Not only did Dina give birth, but she also had to throw a birthday party. Oh, she's already in bed. She just, she couldn't even wait anymore. She's all stinky in bed. And Fabian, her oldest son, he's just sitting in there like, whatever, mom. <laughs> but he's going to be going home now. So she's in bed. Um, Malcolm also needs to go to bed. He's down there swimming. Get out of the swimming pool and go to bed. I'm putting little Malcolm in the hallway in a twin bed. <laughs> Until I... Smells bad. Until I can figure out how to make another room in here. So I'm gonna... 
I'm going to think about this. Okay, so we do have this balcony out here that I think we could make into a third bedroom somehow. It's 5 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Malcolm is up making oatmeal for everybody for breakfast. The grilled cheese are rotting over here on the table. That's nice. And little Malcolm has rolled the want to buy electronic entertainment. And now since we have a couple of kids in the house, I think we should really uh, make this more into more of a family room. The family only has one TV and it's in Malcolm and Dina's room. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of their money to make this a little bit nicer of a space for the kids to hang out. And we're going to put a TV in here. Um, I'm going to put a big flat screen TV right above the fireplace. And then we're also going to buy them a game system. So now the kids can watch movies in here and play games and stuff and have a place to hang out. Okay, Dina's playing in the, in the bathtub. That's so funny. Look at her. What kind of adult does that? <laughs> she's playing pirate. So she's trying to get her fun up and that's what she chose to do. She also rolled the want to buy an orchard tree, which I locked in for her because she is a nature sim and she hasn't really been able to do much gardening. Now I think her childbearing days are most likely behind her. I mean, it's still possible she could get pregnant again, but uh, so far she hasn't wanted to. So I'm going to let her take up her hobby of nature and we're going to get her an orchard tree. It's just turning spring here, so it's a perfect time to plant one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so I don't forget about it. We're going to go into the garden center and do that for her. We're going to buy her an ambrosial orange tree. And we're going to put it right out here in the backyard. And she can take care of that tree. I also wanted to look at little Malcolm's outfit. So this is the outfit that he aged up into. How adorable is this? Is this not perfect for a little land grab? Does he not look exactly just like a little land grab? And he actually, his chin did get a lot better. The more I look, oh my gosh, get over here. The more I look at him, actually the cuter I think he is. It, his face did not work as a toddler, but he's actually not too bad now. I think maybe by the time he gets uh, to be... A teenager and then an adult he won't be that bad hopefully <laughs> I'm hoping <laughs> it'll be real interesting to see how little Riley turns out which we are gonna find out today so we're gonna have another age up this afternoon when Riley ages up to a toddler we're not gonna have a birthday party for him because we're gonna be having a birthday party for Faith tomorrow where she ages up to a teen I'm so excited now today what's gonna happen is I am gonna send Malcolm to the store uh, to the electronic superstore to work and while he's there Dina is gonna call up Dawn and try to sneak in a little affair <laughs> a little loving and it looks like she's out outside uh, admiring her new orchard tree and she can't really do anything with it because it's still dormant it's still pretty cold outside also I have to make sure everybody's dressed for winter and I think all of my sims are pro appropriately dressed right now um it's Actually, it's turning into spring, and I think everybody's okay. Next round, we'll probably have to change them into summer clothes, but right now, I think they're okay because it's still early spring. Oh, boy. Okay, well... <laughs> Malcolm and Dina decided that they needed a little love. They needed a little time alone together. The kids are about to go off to school. Oh, Malcolm got the flu last night, but he's better now. The kids are about to leave for school in just a couple minutes. Riley is sleeping, and Dina and Nina were like, oh, we're taking our chance. We gotta get together. <laughs> we gotta have some adult time. So they're gonna do that. Hopefully Dina does not get pregnant again. I don't know what they would do with another child. Um, they're just gonna do a casual woohoo. But you know, there is, she is probably not as fertile as she was when she was younger, because I use ACR. And uh, she is 48 years old, so hopefully she will not be getting pregnant. Okay, there they go. Getting down to business. <laughs> and as soon as they finish that, Malcolm's going to head off to work. <gasps> oh, no! So Malcolm was just getting ready to leave for work, and I got a pop-up that Cookie has ran away from home. No, our dog has ran away. Dina's beloved Cookie. You can use the phone to report Cookie missing. Oh my god, Dina, get over to the phone right now. I have never had a pet run away, you guys. Why did she run away? Did she not get enough love or what? I don't know. Maybe nobody was paying attention to her. I feel so sad. 
Okay, let's go report Cookie missing right now. Hopefully she can get it done before Malcolm leaves. If not, we'll do it uh, when he gets back. Here we go. It's 10 a.m. and Malcolm is working at the store uh, for the day at Electronic Superstore. Dina is going to report Cookie is missing because our poor sweet puppy ran away. She's thinking about Malcolm. Aw. So, I'm not exactly sure what happens when you report a pet missing because in all the years of playing The Sims 2, I have never had this happen before. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Dina is freaking pregnant again. Are you kidding me? They just had one casual woohoo. She, she, ah, my mind is like exploding. She is gonna have a fourth baby. Four. This will actually be her fifth child. I cannot believe this. Dina is a baby making machine. Look at this. I just, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Dina, how could you let this happen? Oh, she is a secondary family sim, though. And that's what she wants. I guess she wants it. She doesn't actually want it. She has no want for a child. Neither does Malcolm. They're like, we got enough kids. But, oh, she's pregnant. She is totally pregnant. So, there's going to be another, another land grab, baby. Um, let's see. Today is Friday at 10. So, the next Monday, so next round, there's going to be another land grab child. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe this happened. I really didn't think it would because of her age. Because her fertility has to be declining. But, man. Look at that look on her face. She's like, oh, my God. What's wrong with her eyes? There we go. She shook her head. She's like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Not another one. Okay, anyway, back to Cookie. I, oh, I'm just in shock. I'm just in shock. I'm sorry to hear Cookie has run away. Losing a pet is terrible. Hopefully Cookie heads back home soon, but we'll give you a call if we find Cookie. Let's hope that they find Cookie, okay? <laughs> oh, boy. And Dina is going to use this, and then she's going to call Dawn over. Because she has just a little bit of time, and she's going to trust that Remington here is going to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> so she's calling and inviting Dawn over. I hope that Dawn is available to come over this morning. I don't remember what his work hours were. But she's been wanting to invite him over for a while now, and she has a few hours. Uh, Malcolm will be coming home about 4 o'clock, so we have to get Dawn out of here by 4 p.m. Nope! Dawn's not home! Oh no! <laughs> So this was her one shot at continuing that affair and she's not going to be able to because he's not home. She'll try it. Maybe she'll try again in an hour or two. Dina was just upstairs feeding the baby and there she goes again. She's got seriously bad morning sickness. So I guess my theory about Sims who uh, are older not having as much morning sickness is not true because Dina has it bad. Maybe it just depends on the individual Sim because I swear I have some Sims. They never have morning sickness at all. And then we have Sims like Dina that just get it constantly. It's about 4.45 and Malcolm is just getting home. Oh no, he can't pull in because the kids are in the street. Get out of the street, kids. Uh, Malcolm and Faith were outside playing catch. And now they can't get... <laughs> Malcolm can't get the driveway. He's like, get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way so your dad can drive by. Oh my gosh. There's Chico Ramirez walking by. Okay, get out of the road! <laughs> so it's almost 6 p.m. when little Riley is going to age up. Dina is so tired from taking care of the baby all day that she had to go to sleep. The house was is a filthy mess and the maid is having a difficult time keeping up with the mess. <laughs> so Dina had to help some with cleaning up. Nobody's cleaned up this trash. So basically at this point, we're just waiting around for little Riley to age up. We're going to take care of everybody's needs today. And I would really like to get Malcolm the fifth his own bedroom as well. And I think what I'm going to do is convert this little area down here into a bedroom. Not 100% sure yet. All right, it's 6 p.m. And it looks like Malcolm is about to age up Riley. I can't keep everybody's name straight. There's so many kids. And Faith is going to age up tomorrow. 
<laughs> we're just having age up after age up, and we're definitely gonna have to have a party for Faith as well. Okay, that was weird. We had to reset, and now Malcolm is stuck on Malcolm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Let's see if he can put put down. Okay, here we go. So it is 11.30 p.m. and the baby is finally aging up, guys. Oh my god, that took forever. <laughs> Look at Dina's face. She's like, I just know you're going to be cute. I just know you're not going to have that giant chin. Let's see. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's see. Oh my god, this one's cute. They had a cute... Look, he looks like Dina. Oh my god. Okay, let's get in here, guys. Let's get in here and see little Riley. Oh my gosh, Riley's gonna be kind of cute. Oh. Okay, maybe. What's up with his eyes? Why are his eye sockets like that? <laughs> well, he didn't get the giant chin, okay? He got Dina's nose, and I think he's gonna look like his mom a lot. Okay, let's go back. Let's, let's put things in motion. Oh my god, he's cute. He's cute. I don't know how those eye sockets are going to work out. Um, but he is definitely cuter. Definitely cuter than poor little Malcolm the <laughs> Fifth. And look, now Dina wants to have a baby. Oh, Lord. We got to lock it in. Now, I want to keep one of these Dawn uh, wants locked in. He wa She still wants to flirt with Dawn and invite him over. Invite over gives a thousand. So, we're going to keep that and then we're going to lock in have baby because... As we all know, she is going to have another freaking baby. I never would have thought Dina would have turned out to be a secondary family Sam who's just popping out the babies left and right. <laughs> never would have thought it. But, you know, it kind of suits her. She's a, she's a nice Sim. She just likes money. That's all. Okay, so here's our little baby, Riley. Now, let's look at his personality. I'm always excited to see what their personality is. I think he's going to be handsome, though. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So he is a Taurus, guys. That means he's going to be a romance or pleasure sim. Probably romance uh, since he's... Let me see. What generation is he even going to be in now? Okay, so he's going to be in a, in the same generation as Nadia, Oliver, and Patrick. So he is going to be in generation eight. And that means we could, we could use another romance sim. Yeah. So I haven't decided 100%, but he's either going to be romance or pleasure. So check this out. He's the exact opposite of his mom, Dina, when it comes to neatness. So he is extremely neat. <laughs> he's extremely max neat, as neat as a sim can be. He is very outgoing. He's lazy and he's mean. <laughs> he's mean. He's like a mean boy, okay? He's very playful and mean, which means he probably likes to play pranks on people and thinks it's funny. Boy, he is like the epitome of a spoiled rich brat. That is what Riley's going to be. He's lazy, he's mean, but he's playful and outgoing. Oh man, he, this is this is something. <laughs> he's going to be fun to play. <laughs> All right. So, right now he's interested also in animals like his brother. Um, I think because they grew up around the dogs, they really like animals. He also likes travel and sci-fi. Kind of. Mostly he likes travel. And look, his hobby is games. Oh, wow. He's going to be a gamer. <laughs> He's going to be a spoiled, entitled, mean, rich kid. He's like the kid on Xbox Live that tells you he, you know, I'm not going to say what he tells you. But he insults you on Xbox Live because he's just spoiled and he sits there and plays games all day. You know the kind of kid I'm talking about. That's Riley. <laughs> okay, so let's we're going to get him to the potty and get him to bed. And we got to get ready because we're going to have another birthday party tomorrow for Faith. I'm going to wrap up today's episode because we're already getting pretty uh, long here on the video. And we're going to have Faith's birthday party in the next episode, part three, because I really want to be able to focus on her and her transition to a teenager. And her. And we're really going to be able to spend some time with her. I don't want to just rush through her birthday party and tack it on to the end of this. So I'll see you guys with a new episode very soon. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media and visit my blog at PleasantSims.com. Thanks for watching, guys.